Okay, so today I'm gonna uh, do a walkthrough video or uh, tell you how to use uh, HP's uh, WebOS uh, touch, uh, touchpad tablet. Now, uh, my main idea is if you're if you are using uh, Apple's uh, iOS system, then you know this is uh, this is a walkthrough for you. In general, also, you know, you'll gain uh, some information because I'm using this tablet for the past 24 hours now, and uh, it's it's really nice. So to begin with, um, there is a home button. Um, you, you click, and then this is your uh, main screen. So to unlock it, simply hold the lock icon and swipe it up. As you're on a main screen. On a main screen there is an option here right on top it says just type you can type anything um, you want to search anything from web from your emails from your contacts notes anything on your tablet or on the web associated with the accounts you can uh, search and find it right here. In bottom there are uh, your five favorite icons and uh, this one is for the menu so this is for web, this is for email, that's for calendar, chat, photos and videos. On top corner, uh, right corner right here, you have uh, Wi-Fi, this is a rotation lock sign, and uh, battery, time. Now this little drop down arrow, when you tap on it, you will see date, battery, Wi-Fi information. You can adjust the brightness of your screen. Now with Wi-Fi, you can also see turn off Wi-Fi. You can also go Wi-Fi preferences. You can see available networks. You can join, uh, disconnect. A VPN network, same with the Bluetooth. If you want, if you're on a flight, you know, if you want to just see the videos and stuff, you can turn on the flight mode. Rotation lock, mute sounds. Now, right next to this preferences uh, preferences bar, we have a notification area. So, let's say if somebody is texting you or you're chatting with somebody, uh, you're looking something on a web, you're installing something, any of the on Facebook notification, all those notifications are gonna come up here. So, while you're doing something, it's gonna come up over there. I'll show you the demo uh, in, a, in a short while. Now I'm going to show you the keyboard feature of uh, WebOS. So first we're going to go to the browser. Okay. Now I'm also going to show you uh, uh, what's uh, how to use the browser in here. It's, it's simple. This is a address bar where you type in uh, the web address you want to go to. Now. This is more like a Mac OS. Uh, you, you can see all the, for each app, you see their related features on the top left corner. So this is a web, so you can see their preferences, uh, print, help, those features. When I open something else, you will be able to see the features related to that app. So this is address bar, back and forward button. This is uh, to cancel. Uh, if you want to stop any any web page this is to add a bookmark this is for a new tab and uh, this one is for uh, to, to launch a bookmark so let's just type Google there you go I already have it Google now when I tap on it, the keyboard is going to act, get activated. Now, this has uh, uh, alphabetical keys as well as number keys right on top, readily available. This is uh, caps, tab, this is for signs. Now, for signs, you also have a chat smileys here, which is really nice. Um, all the standard signs. Now this is uh, for keyboard hide, this button, 
If you tap on it, you'll be able to hide keyboard. If you want to get back keyboard, just uh, go and click on uh, where you can type. Now there is one more feature, you can adjust the size of a keyboard. So you hold on to this keyboard button, you can do large, medium, small or extra small. So if I do large, it's going to cover half area. If I hold on to it, go to extra small. So you can adjust the, adjust the size of a keyboard as you like it. Now I'm going to launch a new tab. There we are. So we are on a new page. So if you want to switch to your old web page, all you have to do is go on a lower right corner and swipe it up. And this is going to show you card. Now these are called cards. Your uh, your multitasking area or your desktop area where you see these apps uh, it's called cards and if you want if you want to remove them if you want to close them what you do is you hold on to it swipe it up hold on to it swipe it up and it's gonna close it